Tonight, we are learning new information about the suspected gunman who attacked a Planned Parenthood facility in Colorado. CBS 4's David Benio reports. Investigators were still processing the crime scene two days after the deadly shooting rampage in Colorado Springs. Police say Robert Deere killed three people and wounded nine others inside a Planned Parenthood facility. Sources tell CBS News the suspect had several guns and ammunition in addition to a long rifle. They also believe he planned on detonating propane tanks outside of his car, but surrendered instead. I was surprised that uh, uh, given he had to know how much damage he'd done, and, but he made a decision to give himself up. A law enforcement source says when Deere was arrested, he said, quote, no more baby parts. Vicki Cowart, the regional head of Planned Parenthood, called on Republican presidential candidates and anti-abortion activists to tone down the rhetoric. The, the tirades against Planned Parenthood in the last few months have really been over the top. The deadly attack hits home for Hope Chapel. Slain officer Garrett Swayze was an elder here. Um, we've experienced all joy, all pain, all emotion uh, for the last 10 years side by side. Um, he's my best friend. Leonte Chandler says one of the victims killed was his brother, Kier Stewart. Almost a half a million people here. And it happened to be my brother out of all these people. Random. The guy didn't know him. He didn't know the guy. I forgive him, though. David Begno, CBS News, Colorado Springs. And Deer will make his first court appearance tomorrow by video.